Easy peeps, welcome to episode one of Started From The Bottom Of The Road To Glory. Now, if you haven't been with us through the entirety of FIFA 18, don't worry, we're starting again. And we did some great things on FIFA 18 and I'm sure we will do some amazing things on FIFA 19. So thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, drop a thumbs up, and let's get straight into the brand new intro. Right then, my little chickadickadees. FIFA 19, brand new. So we have rewards from previous FIFAs to get. We get a few packs as well. Not bad at all. Uh, first off, we have to choose which nation we want to go with. And we are going to go with France. Just because there's a big pool of players for France. And you don't get that many great players in your opening starter team. So it kind of makes sense to try and get a lot of players. Rather than just hitting somebody like Portugal or something like that. Where you end up with a lot of not very good players. And we end up with Stambouli. Not bad at all. Whether he's going to be usable or not. That's debatable. You can see. Look how many French players we've got there. So we've got what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12-ish. 12, 13 French players. So that's not too bad. It'll help with SBCs and stuff like that. As we move on. The, the squad struggling slightly. It, 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 it's struggling slightly. But it's a brand new FIFA. So we are playing this courtesy of EA Access on the Xbox. Obviously. Unlucky PlayStation users. Right. We've got a lone player to pick. Now. A lot of people who have played it on the capture event said. Don't go for Griezmann. Go for Aguero. You'll get more bang for your buck. However. We are going to go for Griezmann. For two reasons. One. He's French. Two, you can also get a five game Griezmann out of the EAFC catalogue and you can combine the two cards. So therefore we'll have Griezmann for eight games and that's a lot better than having Griezmann for four or three and then, or no, five from the catalogue and then four for Aguero. I'd rather have a, I'd rather have Griezmann for the eight games. Right, so obviously this episode is going to be slightly longer. It's going to be a little bit boring probably because it's just the starting of the game but this is your opportunity to show your support to me by hitting that thumbs up button and proving that you are going to be here for the long haul also i didn't really think through wearing the fantastic new fifa 19 shirt on a green screen where you got bits missing and stuff like so hey, it's all right don't worry, that's not the first mistake we're going to make this episode, it's not, honestly. Right, so we get welcome back stuff, we get an a two eighteen kits, a foot birthday kit, uh, four all players packs and another pack. Not the best welcome back rewards if I'm being honest, it doesn't seem to be um, rewarding you for how many games you've played and stuff like that, it's just I think if you've hit over a threshold of X amount of games, whether I think, say if it's a thousand, if you've played a thousand and one games, you'll get the same welcome back rewards as somebody that's played 12,000 games. So that's not really fair. You will see straight away, for those of you that haven't seen it before, it's a new menu system when you get items. Very easy. It looks very complicated at the beginning. All the items in the middle where it says keep items, you just press RT. So we're going to be talking Xbox. That will send them straight to the club. If you want to put them in the transfer list, you just press up on your stick. That will put them in the top column. If you want to sell them, uh, quick sell them, you just press down on your stick and that will put them in the bottom column. And then you can kind of do th the three columns all at the same time. You can confirm all of the three columns at the same time. We get another French player for our team there. Now... Because this is early access, and this is early, early access, the transfer market isn't exactly booming. 
people aren't exactly buying so the golden rule of thumb for any road to glory is sell everything you can but you can see there there's only what like six shalker kits on the market one one of them is like 150 coins and that's not selling so unfortunately the consumables that we would be able to sell we can't sell in this episode so we're just going to keep everything at the moment there's nothing we can actually do with them unfortunately because like i said there's not that many active users on at the moment and if last year's anything to go by and judging by how many people are saying that they're switching this year i think the xbox market might struggle a little bit this year i think if you are on playstation you're going to have a lot better run of it in terms of market and stuff like that because obviously the main user base is on the playstation but we are on access and now because of that we're playing it and you're not all right right <laughs> all players pack another one let's hope we can get something decent in this one we can't we can't people right so you watch what's going on on the screen and i'll talk about how we're going to run the rtg so we've only got 10 hours early access to cover us through the next uh what five and a half days so we won't be doing an episode consistently for the next five days i might do a web app episode um we're going to try and play it a little bit cool and save some of the hours um so don't fret don't worry i'm going to try and help you all the way if i can my first piece of... Hey, we get Gaussian Martins or Martinsh, whatever. Uh, not bad, man. He was in one of our starter squads. 94 pace. Not bad at all. Three star, five star. Now, you would think that he would be going for quite a lot of Spondulix. But you will see in a moment when we check how he is on the transfer list. Because it's early, early access... There's not that many of him and he isn't selling. Look at that. People are going to clean up. People that are putting FIFA points on at this stage are going to absolutely clean up. Buying loads of stuff off the market for very, very cheap. And then they're just going to sell them off in three or four days. So fair play to them, I suppose. But we're going to do it the hard way, people. That's what we are all about. Right. So as I said, for the RTG, what we're going to do is we're going to spread over the next five days. We might do a web app episode, not too sure. Um, but my first piece of advice is thus. Never, and I mean never, eat yellow snow. You will see on the screen pop up was a QSH tip. So I will be doing those throughout the series. If there's a major point tip, something to say, you'll see the little pop up come in the bottom of the screen. And that will be my tip for you. Enjoy. Yeah, I know. I'm on. I know. I can hear you saying thank you. You don't have to say thank you. You don't. You really don't. Hey, that's not bad. Again, look how cheap that is, though. 85 pace, 78 shooting, 85 physicality. This year will be all about stamina and physicality. But thanks. Thanks for saying thank you anyway. So we're doing all right. We're getting some players in. Right. Tip number two, redeem as much as you can from the foot catalogue. I'm going to speed this process up. We're going to do the top ones first. So always get your 1,000 uh, coins times 15 first. If you have not reached the available level, that's level 35, get a friend who, who has reached that level to gift it to you. Do not go do the one that's what 20 games at 200 coins or 15 games at 200 coins first because you will regret it. It's all about coins at the beginning and you can see this is what we've managed to get from the catalogue so far. We haven't redeemed everything. I'll do that off camera but we've got some great players heading in. You can even get the kits and stuff like that and quick sell some of the kits. You can get yourself a lot of coins just from the EASFC catalogue. There's confirmation that we can combine Griezmann. So we will have Griezmann for eight games. Right. So that's tip number two. So the first tip was fantastic. The second tip is phenomenal. Third tip. Get the starter objectives out of the way. Right. Now, that may not seem like a tip, but I've seen a lot of people who have also got early access 
jumping straight into games that's all very well and good that is all very well and good get your starter objectives out of the way they will give you quite a few boosts here and there that were needed to sort of like get you on the right path get your little build up of coins get some players and then you can head on for the first few weeks it is an absolute must that you play squad battles if you want to get yourself some coins i know squad battles is boring i know squad battles isn't very fun but it's just a must you have to do so we have to play a game we do the team of the week challenge with this shambles of a team and we make our first mistake on the road to glory we thought having a centre mid at left back a right mid at left mid a bronze goalkeeper a centre back at right back a camming striker we thought it would be good enough it wasn't so so that's that's a bit unfortunate <laughs> we lose our first game on fifa 19 just the the team of the week was just too fast man our, our players just couldn't catch them but don't worry that's the thing about this road to glory we start from the bottom and you cannot get any more bottom than losing your first game but hey we shall prevail we shall move on we shall soldier on Right, we've got a lone player for completing the uh, Welcome to Foot Starter Challenge. And we get, in the wise words of Castro, Cago! Ooh, something like that. I don't, I don't. Can't do it. I can't do the gravelly bit. Right, let's get started. Let's start the first SBC, shall we? These are fairly simple. You need a bronze player from the first one, and then the second one you need three bronze players, and then it's the th fourth one is like four or five, and it's like a chemistry. It's fairly simple, but it does get you moving to be able to open up the other squad building challenges. So here is another tip. This is what you really want to be doing first while the players are cheap. If you are in early access, try and get some of these early players. That's, that's my other tip for you. If you are playing early access, don't worry about playing games so much. Play games to get coins, sure. But don't try and go on a 25-game uh, division rival streak. Try and buy some of these players because they'll be a lot cheaper now while the market is a little bit down. The minute everybody starts getting their players, um, sorry, their games, the price of the players will end up going up. So you want to try and get these some of these SBCs out of the way because some of the SBCs will end up giving you decent rewards. Now, in contradiction to that as well, you actually probably do want to be playing a few games while you're on early access because um, the requirements of what will be needed to get to that level will be a lot less because there'll be a lot less players playing so honestly this first week if you're the football well, first five days if you're on early access you really do need to make the most use of that 10 hours if you are on playstation you can wait and then just copy this it's easy people very easy yes the first episode's boring but it's a road to glory man you've got to join us on this journey Hit that thumbs up, please. Begging you. Tell your friends. Knock next door and say, hello. Can you come and watch this man? He's doing a road to glory. He's really good. Really, really. If we're really good and we drop a thumbs up, he might do an ASMR full video. And talk to us like this forever. Would you like that? Uh, uh, but anyway, that's... That's something else. Right. So, we're on to this SBC here. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, th four players, not five. Four players, three nationalities, team chemistry of seven. And we managed to do that. And then for that, we get a bronze players pack. And that is the first Let's Get Started SBC fully completed. Not bad. You ain't going to get the best kind of stuff from this because it's only bronze packs and two player packs or something. But it's a start, man. It's a start. And hopefully you might pack something good. So we've got four packs to open. We've got a two players pack, a bronze pack, a bronze reward pack, and a bronze players pack. Right. We won't be starting bronze pack method quite yet. But the bronze pack method is definitely a way to go. So at the moment, we don't want to be selling any of these bronzes, even if they do sell. We want to try and keep them 
until the first marquee matchups comes out or something like that when if they're needed the price of those will absolutely shoot up so don't hold fire hold fire the prime time for selling according to looking at footprint and stuff like that is that the players dip then they go up and then between the 27th and the 29th of this month seems to be the prime time so i think that depends on when the game is released for last year obviously so let's just say your three prime time selling selling days will be the 27th to the 30th and then players might take a slight dip and then when they announce foot champions the prices for the high meta players will start going back up again as people are trying to build their teams but at the moment people are just trying to get rid of as many players as they can to get coins so they can upgrade their teams to go into division rivals so you want to be getting yourself some coins thanks to the boosts thanks to the sbcs thanks to the odds uh thanks to doing squad battles get your coins that way build up your team nicely and then go into the division rivals so give yourself a good day just just figuring out your team figuring out the menu doing a few um squad battles to get your ranking up get a few players in because they'll be pretty cheap and then set yourself up on the division rivals path obviously this year with foot champions we've only got 30 games which is awesome and then division rivals is probably going to be like a daily foot champions now as well i think the sweat in division rivals is going to be well real right so that's that one completed we get the fewc stadium not bad at all uh we've got a couple of other objectives to play including play another single match but first let's do the take your positions this one's easy you just need to put the players in the right positions so let's just quickly speed that up we need obviously a left back in the left back we need a right back in the right back and so on and so on to complete the take your positions and then we've got getting fit that means just we just have to put some uh fitness on a player and then obviously the play a single match so we will be getting retribution for the loss that we've taken and we will be playing it on a lower level <laughs> we will be and if you don't like it I don't, so what i made the mistake that's the first mistake i got a little bit too cocky i thought that the i thought i'd be able to play with that team beat from playing from the demo beating a computer on legendary you're thinking yeah we've got these so i thought professional yeah no problem my players just were not good enough so unfortunately we took the hard out in the first game however we will be dropping it down for this one just so i can get a w on the board and make me feel a little bit happier about myself yeah because i didn't really want to take a loss so early on but once you've took it out, the only way is up, baby. Honest. Right. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of team you will be rocking for your starter team. Let me know what you think of foot champs if you are going to play it. I'll be very interested to hear people's thoughts. I'd love to get a little bit of interaction on the channel ask me a few questions i'll try and answer them let me know what you're doing and we can bounce off each other my friends bounce we won a game Woo! right we've won a silver contracts pack stunning silver contracts pack in that we get silver contracts yeah we do be victorious because we won a game yeah we did was it an amateur so what who cares we get 1500 coins for that that's bank absolute bank uh and then we've got a pack to open and it is going to be no one not bad at all not bad that's a quite a nice kit but we're gonna get rid of it this year what i didn't do on fifa 18 like i said we kept everything and i was left with the same kits all the way through the year just clogging up the club and stuff like that we're not going to do that this year we're going to get rid of stuff which i think it can will never sell is never going to be usable might as well get the coins now and just quick sell certain things like that however the ideal position is try and sell everything that you can coins are extremely vital at the beginning so we need to try and build up our coin balance at the moment before we take off for this episode 
So we're going to go and have a look at the um, transfer market just to see what's out there, what's about, what kind of things are diddly, what's the crack. You can see there's only 144,000 transfers at the time of recording. So we'll have a quick look through some French team, French players. Um, and then we have a look for some reason. I wanted to have a look at Real Madrid. So we have a look at Real Madrid as well. So you can see there's some decent bargains if you want to get the middle tier French players going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, you want to try and pick these up. <coughs> oh, get out of my throat. You, go. You want to try and pick these up here and there. We've got Saliba. He was actually on our starter team. But then I noticed his stamina. His stamina isn't the greatest. So, we might get him in, we might not, but I've put him on the, tra on the transfer list just to watch, see how much he goes. If we can pick him up for like 300 coins, that's an absolute no-brainer. So, we'll probably do that anyway. But the French team will be a great starter point if we can manage to pick up just a couple of big hitters just to keep us going. And then, Real Madrid, we was looking at Vicinius Jr. See how much he's going for because I think that card's going to be worth a bit in a few days' time. And then we noticed that Carvajal, 84 card, was going for very, very cheap. Look at that. If you had 20 minutes to waste, which you haven't run early access, we've got no time for that. Um, but under 4K, man, under 4K, that's pretty, pretty decent. So I was umming and ahhing. I thought I'd check again. In a, in a while, see what we could try and get it for. You can see that Salabat is going up to 600 coins. And so we check his ingrowing stats and then we find out that his stamina isn't exactly the best. It's 69 for his stamina. So will that be the most usable player? I'm not too sure. So we go back, we check Carver Hall again, just in case, just in case. Do that in a moment then. First, no, what do we do? Yes, we go and check. <laughs> no, we go and check. Vicinia Studio. That's what we try to do. Woo! I'll be there in a moment with you, friends. Look at that. 2,700 coins on bidding. He, he will be pretty decent, man. Four star, five star. You're going to make some coins off that one for sure. So we'll watch that. Well, I think we'll end up buying a few of him because I think we'll be able to make coins. The, the smallest buy now is, what, 5'9 at the time of recording. 5.9, can we get any lower than 5.9? 5.1. 1. 5.1, I think you could make money off 5.1, but obviously we haven't got those kind of coinage. But then with a 77, do you want to take that kind of risk? What well, are people going to pay 8, 9K for a 77 rated card? With five star skills, I actually think they might do. I genuinely think they might do. But judging by how rewards are going to be pumping at you this year, perhaps the market might be quite low. Who knows, man? It's a gamble. So we don't want to waste too much at the moment. We check Saliba's price again. We give a little cheeky bid on, on one later on in the video, but we don't end up winning it. We check Carvajal again just to see if he's dropped a little bit lower. 4K, 4K, and then one crops up for 2.9. So we end up buying him and we will end up flipping him before the next episode so that's where we're going to leave it because the episode's dragging slightly we'll do some more of the starter objectives when we come back for episode two but if you could hit that subscribe button that'd be absolutely fantastic turn your notifications on because there's going to be no set times for when the videos are going to be coming out we're just going to try and do as much as we can as 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 quick as we can early on to try and get as many coins as we can if you could hit that thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated but for now thanks for watching catch you in a bit